Hi, it's Brett Warren here, your trusted resource for property in Brisbane. Um, I've just got Mark Creedon with me as well. Thanks for coming along, Mark. Pleasure, mate. Uh, it was great listening to you on stage just now. I know a lot of guys uh, got uh, good feedback from it, so um, it was a good session. Thank you, mate. Uh, mate Mark, you're m my unreasonable friend. Um, we obviously, obviously sit down um, from time to time, and you're Michael's business coach, and uh, business coach of a lot of other leading businesses in Australia. Yep. Um, what are some of the techniques that, uh, that you've used to, to help business people and um, so maybe something, some examples you could share with the, with sure. the, with the guys? Yeah, sure. So <laughs> I think let's focus on two things. Um, what you've got to do is there's an awful lot of noise out there. So you've actually got to do something that makes you stand out. You've got to find a way to cut through all of the noise um, to get to your target market. And it's so much easier to do that if your target market is actually quite narrow. See, if you're looking to try and be everything to everybody, then you're competing with uh, with a much broader range of noise out there. So my my suggestion there is to specialise. It's it's develop a niche. So rather than going sort of you know very shallow across the top of your market, um, go long and deep, and um, and specialise. The other thing, mate, I, I, le I like to think is, and I've seen this, you know, we've worked with businesses that have, um, you know, five times their, their net revenue by following these couple of practices, yeah. and that is to understand the transformational na nature of your product. What you want to do is you want your clients to move from you having to sell to them to them wanting to buy from you. And how you get them to want to buy rather than you having to sell is by not talking about the product. It's not the what, it's the how and the why. So in other words, if I buy your product, Brett, what's that going to do for me? As opposed to just this is the product for the price. Yeah, sure, sure. And you use that ice cream analogy quite well sure. too. Sure, yeah, I mean, you know, when my daughter um, first had her first job at Baskin Robbins and I said to her, you know, why do you like working there? And she said, oh, it's great because because they sell happiness um, you know there's only two times that you get ice cream uh, it's either when you when you when you're happy and you want to continue to be happy um, and when you're sad and, um, and and you want to get happy now I always say you know when my daughter used to break up with boyfriends I used to take her to um, Baskin Robbins so that um, she could commiserate and I could celebrate <laughs> yeah. no, good point um, mate look thanks very much for joining us um, really appreciate it um, hopefully we got something out of that and uh, looking forward to the next couple of days at the street yeah fantastic thanks, thanks again, mate. Cheers, cheers mate cheers bye